Fire and Adidas football boots now for say fifteen years. Um, my first pair I got them for Christmas. Um, it was the very first Predator that came out, and David Beckham was promoting it. So that was the first boot, and never looked back after that. You know, it's, it's always been a good boot. Um, just I suppose the, the quality of the boot um, and the style of the boot, like you know, there's Adidas they're always changing, and you know, there's always different variations of boots, and um, you know, it's supposed to come back to the quality there. A pair of Adidas boots made last year, five or six six months, you know, which is it's good when you're playing football all year round. Why, in your opinion, do you think Adidas has become so strong in the GAA market? Um, I know Adidas have been promoting it a lot the last um, last ten years anyway, um, and we have had a couple of ambassadors there, like Paul Galvin, Kieran Donahue, and you know, a few of the Dublin lads there, and you know they're promoting it hard, and you know it's a very popular boot at the moment, and I think that's down to the fact that you know there is variation and, and plus the quality of the actual boot itself. One of them are in uh, Adidas Adi Pures. Um, when you're looking at the big premiership matches or rugby matches over the weekend, you know, you see all the high profile players, you know, wearing Adidas and you know, that's great ad advertising for them. Um, but it's, you know, it's, suppose it's going back you know, to look at the quality and off the Adidas stuff and you, know, you see all the top players and you know all the big guys wearing the Adidas stuff and um, I suppose that's a huge advantage to them, and even in the J at the moment, like you know, you see the likes of Dublin won, won all Ireland last year, and I think most of the boys were wearing Adidas, you know, so you know, it's pushing it hard for them. Donegal, we you know, were in Division Two, and you know, we got off to a great start, and we got the Division Two final, and you know, I think our aim at the start of the year was to get promoted, and you know, we did that, um, and got into Division One, and we went into the Championship then, full of confidence and. We had a tough game in the preliminary rounds, and you know we, we just about got over Antrim that day, and we went on from there, and we got the Ulster final, which was a huge achievement. And you know, um, you know it was, I suppose it was one that if we didn't want to get beaten. Was you know, we've we've lost three or four of them in the last couple of years, and you know to win that was a huge thing uh, for us. And you know we went, we were looking to build on from there, and got the Northern semi final, which was great. Congratulations on your own achievements last year. Donegal's most decorated footballer with his third All Star. Uh, must be a very proud moment when you got selected for that again. Yes, yeah, All Stars are nice to get. <coughs> so it is, um, you know, it's, it's nice to get that wee incentive for you know all the hard training and you know playing throughout the year. And you know, I was lucky. I was one of three from the Donegal team. I got one this year, and you know, as I say hopefully maybe next year. You know, you, you, there might be a lot more of us. Please God. Just on the championship ahead, what's the hopes and beliefs and aims of the Donegal panel this season? Um, you know, I suppose there's a lot of pressure on us now this year. Um, you know, we got that wee taste of success last year and you know, we're looking for that again this year. And just like take this opportunity to thank All Sports and Donegal Town for supplying me with um, their Adidas team wear and football boots for the year. And if your club are interested in looking at the team wear or leisure wear, um, you can visit them in All Sports and Donegal Town or visit their website at allsports.ie.